Hey y'all, hola mi gente. You know what time it is. Richie has got to go to work and I have to do a quick yummy lunch for him so he can go. He leaves in a little over an hour. So what I'm gonna do to him, for him, he loves pastelon and he loves the sweet plantains. So I'm gonna do a dish called canoas, which it means canoes in Spanish. And see, the bananas do look a little bit like a canoe. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook these whole, I'm gonna split them in the middle, stuff them with some yummy meat mixture and some cheese, bacon coming out and just serve it. What? That's what's on the menu today. Let's get started. This is what you'll need for the wonderful banana boats, las canoa, said in Puerto Rico. You need a yummy meat mixture, which I've taught you guys how to do that before. You can make your own yummy meat mixture. You use the one I did in my pastelon video. You need some ripened plantains, some yellow plantains that are nice and ripe, and these are. You need a casserole dish, and I have it butter. Then you need a cheese blend, and I'm gonna get a little egg wash. And then some cooked, we're gonna cook these like this whole, and then I'll show you the next step. This is pretty simple, just some cheese, some bananas, some yummy meat, mi meat mixture, and a casserole dish. Let's do this. Peeling platanos is very simple, especially when they're ripe. Because you just cut the ends off. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm cutting the ends off. Then you're gonna go along the little ridges and kind of pierce, but you don't wanna go all the way like through or anything like that. You're just wanting to get um, underneath the skin and this there we go and then you want to be able to just peel it back just like this very simple all right I'm gonna do the rest I'll be back now that they're cooked I'm gonna do a line on the bottom you don't want to go all the way through your um, banana but you do kind of want it Kind of pry it open. You want to be very gentle because this is the right bananas, you know. They're not bananas, guineos, platanos. So they're gonna be, you know, softer to deal with. All right. Again, you just put the curved side down then run a little slit in between, in the middle. Be careful, it's hot. And then make that little, with your knife, kind of pry it open. All right, now that I've got them all cut open, see, they look like little canoes. I'm going to stuff them with my yummy meat, top them with cheese. Well, I'm gonna, Stuff them with this yummy meat and do a little bit of like, it's just some eggs with some seasoning and I'm gonna put on top. So let's stuff these really good with meat. Don't be stingy. And it's okay if it overflows. Now I'm putting that egg wash on top. Just a little bit, kind of helps everything stick, bind together and not get loosened up. You can omit this if you want, but I, I do it on my pasta long too. Now I'm topping it with my own little cheese blend of cheddar cheese and Italian blend. You can do whatever your favorite cheese is. It can be all white cheese or all yellow cheese, whatever. We're cheesy around here. So, sorry if I'm rushing through. If you have any questions, send me a message. I gotta get this in the oven for my sweet man. So you can do it like this or you can just do the pastelon, which I like to do the pastelon because it's less work. It's like doing a lasagna. It has the same kind of concept and flavors. All right, I'm gonna cover this, stick it in the oven. Not very long, most of this is cooked.
Look what just came out of the oven. Canoas. De platano. What? Yes. Get in there, y'all. Get in there. Y'all. This is looking amazing. Now to try to scoop this out without it falling apart. <laughs> I took off the foil um, after about 20 minutes of it being in the oven and then I just kind of, you know, whew, let it broil the cheese on top after it had melted. So I'm just serving it up with a little white rice and I got some fresh cilantro that I'm putting on the top because you know that's how you roll around this house. That's how my husband loves it. Hey babe, it's ready. So I'm gonna call him over, let him have a bite, and now serve me up some and show you. Aquí está. Look at it. What? Kind of looks like a banana split, right? But savory version. Look at that cheese just pulling. Oh, and gee, I was trying to let it cool before I gave you guys a a review. Hopefully, I won't burn myself. Oh my goodness. Kind of excited. That sweet savory com combination is just the bomb. That cheese. Mmm. Oh, you guys, it's just delicious. The meat is so good, so well with all the seasonings. That fresh cilantro, you know, is our favorite. And it's just sweet, soft platanos, plantains. It's hard to express, but amazing. Mm. Another winner. Of course, I'm always going to say that, right? No, I would tell you, but until I use, um, try a new recipe, if these are recipes that I've done, they're always gonna be good, right? Cause I'm gonna tweak them before I bring them to you. So I hope you can find platanos, plantains in your grocery um, store and try this delicious guineo plantain boats called canoa, canoes. From my kitchen to yours, buen provecho. It is delicious. Try it.